Welcome to the course on computer design of electrical machines. We will have a lecture for you today with the case study and tutorial 1 and 2. So, tutorial 1 is modeling of pumping net in fine element and tutorial 2 is DC AC force of a graft EI core inductor. So, coming to tutorial 1 modeling of a pumping magnet. The purpose of this example is to demonstrate how the material and direction of pumping net are defined in finite element analysis and for this example a single magnet is to be modeled in 2D planar geometry. Now step steps for the modeling of pump magnet define and create the creation of the model structure here magnet model define the structure of material properties like here N42 magnet material properties assigned and define the boundary outer circle to define flux lines only inside and analysis of the model and post processing calculation of the model and results display. So, coming to this example 1 using finite element tool bar and consider a bar length of 2 inch long and 0.5 inch wide and 0.25 thick as you can see in the diagram magnetized through the thickness dimensions and the magnet material is N42 N denoting the nidium iron boron and D FEB material and the 42 denotes the nominal energy product of 42 MgO mega gauss austrates as shown in the figure. So, top side of the magnet is N pole and the bottom side of magnet is the S pole face and the magnet material model of the most uh, power magnet can be defined by knowing the two quantity, the relative magnetic permeability of the magnet and the coercivity of the magnet. So, now coming to modeling of a power magnet using finite element model to bulk. So, coming to as a step 1 as a popular de de definition, define the problem. Definition before defining the structure in this problem type, planar or asymmetrical. So, unit frequency mass size, solver precision are to be defined as it is given in the typically in the diagrams. And then step 2, geometric creation. So, using the construction methods, point, line, rectangular, and arc to draw the geometry. As you can see in the diagram, using the points and line, rectangle is formed for a given for the given dimensions. Here, one is for it for magnet definition, two is for external environment. Like so, step three geometric metric definition. The geometric represents geometry represents a cross section of the magnet and some air surrounding the magnet, and there is a block level inside the magnet denoted as point two, and the second is the air around the magnet denoted as point one. Now coming to part 2 like geometry material definition the material defined for the magnet is N42 will be as picture in fig figure to as you, you are selecting like here as a N42 then linear relationship then relative permeability 1.05 then the relative mu y 1.02 similarly you are going to select typically other parameter like SC ampere 1 which is given here 155319 into square root 42 and then you have a different boxes go ahead. So, now coming to geometric material define the orientation of the magnetism in the power magnet and selecting a 90 degree angle as shown and north of north is NNN and south is SSS of the magnet as you can see typically 90 here and in the foot typically in the figure. Now, step 3 is the boundary definition define a boundary to analyze the model and the magnetic field analysis within the boundary and the flux lines and the Flux density outside the boundary is 0. A circle is used for boundary condition is planar column. Now, step 4 is analysis of the model. Tool is the toolbar is the run analysis button to analyze the solution. Step 5 the post processing setting and result display. So, when the solver finishes, use the show result toolbar button to weave the solution and the solution like as a figure when flux density plots are turned on. And Step 6 is a result display. So, when the solver finishes, use show result toolbar bottom to view the solution. Solution like as a figure when plug density plots are turned on. So, now, coming as a modeling of a palm grid using a magnet MATLAB script. So, coming to like a example 2 using MATLAB script, a model the palm magnet shown in figure using finite element model and MATLAB. B the plot the variation of flux density along with the x y axis of the magnet at point 1 millimeter gap from the magnet as you can see in the figure. So, the first step 1 is the problem define the problem definition 
before defining the structure and in this problem planar or asymmetrical the unit frequency mass size and solar precession are to be defined as you see in the diagram I will try to parameterize as many variable as possible now CLC clear open FEM now new document and message box assigned point one and my prop definition 0 millimeters planar and 1.84 point minus a 530 and percentage AC solver is not added. So now typically using the construction methods point line and rectangular and arc to draw the geometry. The geometry here is am I draw rectangular in bucket 1 comma 1 semicolon 11 comma 3.51 for the magnet and am I draw arc that is 22.25 in comma 2.25 minus 12.25 comma 2.25 comma 180 comma 5 as a geometry of arc boundary of arc and the mi draw second one minus 12.25 comma 2.25 then 22.525 comma 2.25 comma 180 comma 5 as a boundary arc 2 and then mi zoom natural so now coming to geometry material definition this geometry represents a cross section of the magnet and the sum here are surrounding the magnet so here material alignment is get materials m i geometrical as air and m i geometrical material as n 42 and set material to level so m i add block level 1 5.5 comma 2 m i selectable select level 5.5 comma 2 now coming to typically group 2 as a n 42 magnet material and group 3 as a air material or I may stock block prop n 42 comma 1 comma 0 then none comma 40 comma 2 comma theta and we recommend for n 42 at 90 degree and group 2 am I clearly selected and am I add block level 5.5 comma 5 and am I selectable uh, select label 5.5 comma 5 and am I select block prop in bracket here comma 1 comma 0 comma theta comma none and comma 0 comma 3 comma 0 as a comment as air group 3. Now coming to step 3 as a boundary definition to define a boundary to analyze the model. So magnetic flux analysis is within the boundary. The flux line and flux density outside the boundary is 0. So boundary alignment is like mi at bond prop in bracket air comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 and am I select segment in bracket 22.25 comma 2.25 am I select segment bracket in minus 12.25 comma 2.25 and am I your set arc segments so 5 comma air comma 0 comma 1 and am I clear selected and you can see typically magnet and boundary dimension with material assignment how the diagram look like I mean after that in calculation and then messing of the structure how it look like so now coming to step 4 analysis of the model analysis and solution is saved before analyzing am I save as in bracket e equal to FEM plus my assignment at comma assignment 1 and assignment FEM and am I creation answer is 3653 similarly am I assign and analyze my load is solution am I zoom natural am I so density plot 1 comma 0 with the parameters and then am I MO set grid 0 0.5 and comma card and you can see flux lines and flux density in the typically in two diagrams and then now step 5 post processing setting for the typical result display the plot the flux density along with xy geometry and this is the typically the code are given here in detail and typically you can see total code and the display at the command for y level as a plot for the plot and you can see the plot clearly how the flux density with the distance on x axis and how the distance with flux density typically for y axis in two axis. The flux density with respect to distance along x axis and y axis are known. Now, coming to tutorial 2 DC and AC force of a crept AI core inductor. So, coming to modeling of DC and AC force crept AI core inductor. So, task A model and AI core inductor with following specification as you can see in the typical in diagram. So, the winding that lies in the slot of the E consists of 66 tons of. 18 AWG wire for the purposes of this model. The material is assumed to be a linear 
paramagnetic material with a relative permeability of 2500 and task B is the present a table of comparison between calculated and simulated inductance DC force and AC force and now the step 1 problem definition define the problem definition before defining the structure in this problem plan are asymmetrical unit you can see mass size and solve the precision to be fine and these are typically the code with the instructions given in the box and thus then define the length and width of the EI core which is given in the geometry for this purpose there is a typically code is given here and then typically using the construction method find line this to draw for EI core first I core is to be constructed so the I core is the code you can just see how the I core is created as a mass here with the diagram and then you have a geometry step to the geometry with the code you can how it is the typically I and E core geometry is shown here and then typically geometry typically material definition time 36 selected as a core material for E core and you can see how M36 core material is selected for the core portion with the code and similarly for uh, your M30 selected as a core material for I core and bound as a air so you can see look into like diagram of this one and the code is given here for doing this process and third is the boundary definition to define the boundary to analyze the model and the magnetic flux analysis within the boundary and the flux line and flux density outside the boundary so this is typically the boundary defined as the with that code and how the boundary look like on of course in the box and then step three circuit definition define the circuit for the excitation so standard y gauge 18 of a 60 seconds are used for excitation and typically add the circuit property this is given the code here and how did the coil 1 and coil 2 are shown with the geometry of the typically of EI core and then typically your uh, EI and boundary dimension with the magnet assigned as you can see in the typically in the diagram and then matching of the structure of this typically of the EI core now coming to analytical induct reluctance calculation so reluctance is equal to LG upon 4 into 10 power minus 7 into core depth into E core center pole fit into 10 power minus 3 putting the value to come 3.133 into 10 power 6 80 per Weber and L equal to N square upon reluctance so putting value it comes like 1.39 milli Henry now coming to step 4 analyze the model the first linkage method file calculation is the, is the code of model it's a model and calculation of inductance using the code and this is the code for analysis of the model calculated inductance using field energy storing as a co-energy method for L calculation and this is the typically the flux lines with the leakage flux and this is typically flux density situation of this and then inductance comes as L equal to 1.769 milli energy and results in of inductance is first is the analysis analytical calculation 1.3 milli energy and calculation using flux linkage FEM 1.796 milli energy and calculate the using flood energy that field energy it comes 1.8 801 milli Henry. Now coming to DC force calculation. If I assume that there is a no leakage and shrinking, and the uh, that the contribution of the iron sections to the reluctance of the magnetic circuit is the trivial in comparison to the contribution of air. The force on E I E core is described as F equal to mu zero n square into I square divided by four G square, to where the center A the center pole pole width, n is the number of turns. I the current and G the air gap length and if I AC the complex number representing the AC coil current so I equal to I 0 cos omega t though AC force will be F equal to mu 0 n square I 0 cos omega t square divided by 4 G square where A is the pole width and is the number of turns and I is the current and G is the gap length and this is typically the step 5 process is setting for DC force calculation with the code in MATLAB I mean you can see clear code given here and similarly the code for force calculation so the result comes as a step 5 the force calculation due to the DC current is analytical calculation 1.0948 Newton calculate the using weight distress sensor if you have 1.1134 for y axis and 4.5342 into minus 4 Newton in x axis calculation of maximum stress tensor 1.1153 through y axis and minus 3.0 0 0.097 into 10 power minus 4 in x axis. Now, typically, force calculation due to the AC current calculation of weighted stress tensor for DC component is equal to 0 0.0555 newton meter for y axis and 
and 2.2614 into n minus minus 4 newton for x axis calculation of weighted stress sensor ac component 0.555 minus 0.019 in for y axis and 2.261610 to power minus 4 minus 6.811 9 e to power minus 7 i pro uh, y x a calculation using maxwell stress sensor ec component is uh, 0 0.5567 newton and y x is 3.939 to e to power minus 6 newton for x axis and typically the for your calculation using maxwell stress is ac component equal to 0 0.5567 minus 0 0.0019 i newton meter and newton and in y axis and 3.9392 e to power minus 0 9 c minus 4.278 into minus 0 9 newton and these are the typical references for these tutorials which you can have a look and thank you very much